Monster Hunter World is an extremely popular action role-playing game. I mean, it's Capcom's best-selling game of all time. Despite its fame, the adventure has not made its way over to Nintendo Switch, and Capcom's reasoning can be boiled down to hardware limitations. But that doesn't mean Capcom isn't interested in making a new entry for the hybrid console. A popular insider by the name of Dust Gollum believes a Monster Hunter Switch game is set to be revealed soon. Here's what he had to say in his tweet. In other news, Resident Evil 8 will most likely be great. The RE4 remake is in a bit of a worrying position right now. Silent Hill is still in development, something Shinmu related will be revealed in one to two weeks, and a PS5 event in the first half of September. Then he goes on to say Monster Hunter Switch will be revealed soon. Then afterwards, he tweeted out this. To elaborate on two things, Monster Hunter Switch is running on a Switch compatible version of the RE engine, which is why I've been posting this logo whenever I've been talking about it for the last few months. Wow, the RE engine on Nintendo Switch. Could this mean we could get games like Resident Evil 7 or RE 2 and 3 remake? It doesn't look likely, because then he goes on to say this. I will crush one dream of my RE engine on Switch talk. RE7, RE2, and RE3 aren't coming to Switch. They tried to port RE7 to Switch for a while at one time, but had difficulty getting any satisfactory result. RE Engine games for Switch will need to be made with Switch in mind. So yeah, this could potentially be really big news. First off, it sounds like we're getting a brand new Monster Hunter game on Switch, and it sounds like it just might be an exclusive. And guys, this game would be absolutely massive. Monster Hunter is still thriving over on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, and the Nintendo Switch is still thriving three years into its life. I would love to see a Monster Hunter game built from the ground up for Nintendo Switch, as we haven't gotten that yet. We did get a port of the 3DS game, game of Monster Hunter Generations, which was basically just an HD makeover. I personally still haven't gotten super into the Monster Hunter series, but a brand new game on Switch just might pull me in. And in the meantime, I always loved that spinoff on 3DS, Monster Hunter Stories. I wish we could get an HD port of that game. I know it's a lot different from traditional Monster Hunter, but I would totally play a Switch port, no doubt about it. Aside from this big potential Monster Hunter news, this could also mean that maybe we have another Nintendo Direct around the corner. There was a recent rumor that I covered on the channel that that we were going to get one more Direct Mini and then a General Direct in early September. I really hope that's true. I think Nintendo should really start talking about what they're doing for holiday 2020. We don't really have any idea of what is actually coming out this year. And one last thing I wanted to talk about was this RE Engine Switch talk. Apparently there's a version of RE Engine that is compatible with Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately it seems like games that were developed on the original RE Engine will not be able to run on this new version. The question is, is will they keep this Switch RE Engine in mind with future games past Resident Evil 8. I don't picture Resident Evil 8 making it to Switch, but maybe we could see some type of Resident Evil game on Switch after that. I still really think Resident Evil Revelations 3 would be an awesome Switch exclusive, give it a unique art style and have some more action-oriented gameplay, but that's just me. I've always been a fan of every type of Resident Evil game, but that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Are you excited for this potential new entry in the Monster Hunter series exclusively on Nintendo Switch? And what do you think of this RE Engine Switch Talk. Do you think we could see future games using that engine on Switch? Let me know everything down in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, that thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.